We have a sample problem here. A double slit interference pattern is observed on a screen one meter behind two slits spaced 0.3 millimeters apart. Ten bright fringes span a distance of 1.7 centimeters. What is the wavelength of the light? All right, so double slit interference. The pattern is observed on a screen that is one meter behind the two slits. So that is L. The two slits are spaced 0.3 millimeters apart. So that is D, the distance between the slits. We're looking for wavelength. Now we need to make sense of what we mean by the 10 bright fringes span the distance of 1.7 centimeters. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I'm sorry if you can hear my dog in the background <laughs> moaning. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So these bright fringes, it tells us, spans a distance of 1.7 centimeters. Now one thing that is, well, the thing, I guess, that is unique about a double slit pattern is that the bright and dark spots are all equally spaced. So the distance between one bright spot and its neighbor is the distance Y1. So if we think about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Nine Y1s are in that 1.7 centimeters. So double slit interference is unique in that the bright spots are equally spaced. Y sub M, where M is zero, one, two, three, so forth, this would represent where the bright fringes are, the bright spots. So my equation tells me that the distance from the center to the next bright spot would be lambda L over D. Because they are equally spaced is why I can count this out above and figure out what Y1 needs to be based off of that 1.7 centimeters. So we know Y1, we know D and L, so we can use this to find the wavelength. Now I do want this in meters, or at least I want to watch my unit so I know what the units of my answer are. Three. Change my mode because I don't really want to count my decimal places. So I'm rounding to two significant figures because that's what's given in the problem. 5.7 times 10 to the negative 7 meters, which would be 570 nanometers, which is in the visible spectrum, which is good. So otherwise we wouldn't be able to see this pattern on the screen.